Welcome in everybody, Xweaver X. This is gonna be a quick video to show you how to fix your crashing issues if you're having the GPU crash dump issue with Borderlands 4. I also would highly recommend just doing this for any game if you're running a 40 series card. Now this tutorial is for the 40 series, but I do believe it is going to help with anybody else that are having these specific GPU crash dump bugs with Borderlands 4 or any other Unreal Engine 5 or Unreal Engine 4 game. So the first thing we want to do is actually come over here. We want to download the Haven benchmark test. All these links are going to be down in my description. So grab yourself the Haven benchmark test. Come over here and grab the MSI Afterburner. Now this build here does include River Tuner, which is what we also want to have. Alrighty guys, with MSI Afterburner installed and the Haven benchmark installed, what we want to do is have them both open. And then you want to go ahead and leave all this as default as it is. Make sure the box for full screen is not ticked. We don't want to run this in full screen. And then you want to go ahead and click run. Now this is going to open up the Haven benchmark and this is just going to run in the background. We're not going to click benchmark. We're just going to let it run like it is here. And then you want to pull up the MSI afterburner right here. Now the first thing we want to do is we want to come down here to this cog wheel, click there. And we want to tick the box that says unlock voltage control and tick the box that says unlock voltage monitoring. And then we also want to tick start with windows and start minimize and then go ahead, hit apply and OK. Now that we have that done, we want to take note of whatever our clock speed here says. So for my GPU, it's a 2760. Now yours is going to be different. Even if we have the same make and model, you're going to have a different clock speed and that's because of the GPU lottery. So just take note of whatever your clock speed here says. Mine is at 2760. Again, yours is going to be different. Now we wanna go ahead and click Curve Editor. Now this does look very intimidating, but I promise you it's really not. The bottom here is the voltage, where the left is the clock speed and the frequency here. Now what we wanna do is with this number in mind, again, mine's 2760, we're going to come down here to where it says 975 for the voltage. This is very important that you follow this line here that says 975 up to the point right here. So wherever 975 is, follow that line up to the point. And when you click this and drag, this is going to change the frequency here. And this is how we do this. Now, if at any point you mess up while doing this, you can just go ahead and click reset here. This is going to reset the GPU back to the mastery default. So at any point during this, if you mess up, just click here. It's going to be all right. So again, we're going to find 975 and we're going to find wherever this leads on the chart. We're going to click the point. It should say plus zero. Now you want to go ahead and hold the shift key and then click it. And you want to drag this up to wherever yours was on the clock speed. So mine was 2760. Yours is going to be different and it's okay if you go one to two above or below that speed. For me, it's a perfect number. So I'm just going to hit 2760 and then I'm going to let go of the shift key and the left click. And now what I'm going to do is click in the space between both of these points. And then I want to hold the shift key and then click and drag all the way to the right and then let go. And then I'm gonna go to this first point after the point that we edited it. And then I'm gonna click here and then drag my mouse all the way down. And then I'm gonna go into here and hit apply. Now that I hit apply, what this effectively did is it flattened the curve for our clock speed. So now at the voltage of 975, we're gonna be hitting that 2760 for the clock speed all the way across the board. And what this is going to do is also give us better frame times while we're gaming. So we're not gonna have those hitches where like you're stuttering and like the FPS is kind of fluctuating a lot. This is going to help a lot with those frame times. So once we do that, we're now gonna come down here to the memory clock and I'm going to go ahead and put 1200 and then hit enter. For you, you might have to put plus 1000. I would start with 1000 to be on the safe side. If you're not too sure, just go ahead and put 1000. But for most 4090s, 1200 is okay. So put 1200, hit the enter key, and then we're gonna go ahead and hit the check mark to save that. And then after that, we're gonna actually grab this power limit bar and drag it all the way up and then hit the check box as well. Now, I know you may be asking, why are we dragging the power limit all the way up when we've effectively limited the voltage output? 
The reason we're doing this is because the 40 series is designed differently than the 30, 20, and 10 series on the way the clock speeds work. By default, these are able to ramp up super fast and quick on the clock speeds and adjust it. And by doing this, we're also going to allow our GPU to ramp up if it needs to and have that full power while still be limited at that lower voltage. I know that may sound confusing, but trust me, this is going to work. So with that in mind here, now that we put the 1200, we've dragged our curve and made our curve here. We put the 1200, we dragged our power limit up. We're now gonna hit save and then select one of these slots to the right here. We'll just save this to the first profile. And now we can also click the box here, the windows box. You wanna have this highlighted blue like so. And then click the first one. So both of these are going to be highlighted blue. And then click apply. And then go ahead and click them again to where they're both highlighted blue and then click save and then click the first one here. So what this is going to do is this is going to save this profile and every time we boot Windows, this GPU profile is going to load up by default. And at any point, if you don't wanna use this profile, you can just go ahead and click reset. So at any point, if you don't wanna have the profile loaded, just click reset. That's gonna go ahead and put your GPU back to the mastery default settings. And then if you want to load up that profile, you'll, you'll just click the one button here or wherever you put it here and then click apply. And then that's effectively going to load that profile that we went ahead and set up. Now, again, this is the performance mode settings here, how I have this. If you want to have something that, so let's say your GPU is crashing, you might need to go ahead and start with 1000 and then work your way up to 1200. But again, with my testing, 1200 is the most stable from what I have have on my card and it gives me the best performance with the best thermals as well so effectively what we're doing here is we're undervolting the card to go ahead and give us better thermals better performance and this is going to stop that gpu crash air that you get in borderlands 4 so go ahead and try this out with this applied i am no longer crashing in borderlands 4 and for those that want to stick around and listen to this really quick Everything that I tried when it came to my Borderlands 4, I did everything, including running as administrator. I increased the GPU shader cache through the NVIDIA control panel. I also went ahead and lowered my lumen settings. I lowered all my settings in the game. I tried, what else did I try? I pretty much tried every single thing you could think of that are in the Steam forums, on Reddit, on YouTube. None of those fixed my issues with crashing. This was the only solution that helped me with Borderlands 4 and any other Unreal Engine game. There's a there's a really bad problem with memory leaking when it comes to Unreal Engine 5 specifically, and that's to do with the lumen set, uh, the looming settings. From my own knowledge and my own testing, anything to do with the lumen settings, with this, which is their light engine in Unreal Engine 5. It causes a lot of issue. It's very highly demanding and it causes a lot of memory leakage. So basically all my testing over the whole week led me to going ahead and undervolting this way and doing so we're not losing FPS. You're still going to have the same FPS you're getting while getting a lower GPU um, thermal and a lower wattage drawn. So you're going to save on your power bill as well and ultimately save your GPU wear and tear. So you're gonna prolong your GPU's life as well. If you found this video helpful, consider dropping a like and subbing to the channel. I really hope this helps you out. If it does, please comment down below to let me know. And it'll also help others out that are looking for a fix for the Borderlands 4. With that being said, as always, peace and prosper, much love. We'll see you on the next one. Like.